kizivu mm. kubanga kutuka hiyo <laughs> chango na yuko kumira hiyo mm. kizivu ba iya siko ngomso wakati yuko lechi kizivu mm. <laughs> kubanga kutuka hiyo chango na yuko kumira hiyo mm. kizivu Pita yeah. wagizi wa feba manyi wa wagizi wa feba manyi ba ina mwa kantu kano neweja ni wakusula yu mtuwa lulina kuwevili Uwe ula wange sende nito nezu mm. Nezi tukoli ila Ila tuwa hito luwa hito mjeka unge zi mmanyi umtu sanga Umba hito mmane Ah Ok mkabu wangu wako busemba yose Wako busemba yu mpozi Nizo kubanga jimuli aza manya Wakubanga sina yogira kumutu kwe natandika na ye Yali mm. kuteni wange hey. Ngate Ndoza ya tukwata vulungi ya vamu kings Na avera MVP Africa Elanga HTV ya chua kings Katimpozi omuami oyo matovu, matovu uzaifa Enda kutuwa lumukisa muweba zeko vyo Nedi mingi vya zako lego mzanyo kwa rudo Ngana kati ajeyo timu ye masaka Ye itibwa masaka giants Muna yu mkulu matovu mkweba ziza nyoku Banti ne kings wajitu usa wajitu usiza Ate mpozi mchitiche chimu Nino mwami gwenja gala auliraka antuka nanti atuwele la wanyo kule DNA yetu wazili ya eklezia Omwami loni kumaketi plaza ngusala wevili Sebo yonge nukutio nyinga le dieno chenda mwenye katonye zenya Aba konyo Aba konyo mm. Ila wetu ulivile vintu vya filo nevi ya mizanyo okay. Pozi na mauli la mara la gona okay. Tuwe yanzi za sebo tuwe yanzi Kani tuwe yanzi tuwe yanzi Ketuwa dena bakula wa kings ludo club Mwebali kuficha alira kutu wa geza vilu nji vyelele Mbele vulu nji mwela Tuwe suze sawi ndala Time check Esa wesiwezi kumi Ezure guro Time check kutusibu wako MTN Funa MTN sent you point C Ujiduo sindika Ukuja yo Oboku teka sent Kwa MTN mobile money yo Edo sobla bulu unji Nyoku kwenye sa point C so Ukugule vya maguzi Oboku sasulida vyo Nabiyo ya galo kusasulida Ngo hita mungkola ya MTN momo pe Nika ste momo kaga tan star Isatu hasho kubedide nda kidido Usasulenga wiyambisa MTN sent you point C The news. News. This is the news from the source. 94.4 FM, Radio Sapiencia, the source of wisdom. The news from the source is brought to you by Statewide Insurance Company, Suiko. Good afternoon at two minutes past four o'clock. I'm Sunday Gloria with the news on 94.4 FM, Radio Sapiencia, the source of wisdom. Government has given green light to the Catholic Church to hold this year's Uganda Matters, the celebrations on June 3rd in full blast. According to the ordinary of Fort Porto Diocese, right Reverend Robert Muhira, government and the means of health cleared them for the Matters, the celebrations, but observance of the SOPs will be followed. In the second press conference held at the Uganda Catholic Secretariat today, all pilgrims are called to participate but must be healthy and follow the traffic guidelines for the foot pilgrims. While uh, the foreign pilgrims, they have to present a PCR test or a COVID-19 vaccination card as they enter the country for the June 3rd matters. The celebrations, Bishop Muhira says the budget of 1 billion shillings has so far got 700 million shillings with President Museveni making the biggest contribution of 500 million shillings for Namugongo and 500 for renovation of Fort Porto Cathedral. Other institutions have so far contributed 200 million Uganda shillings. The balance of 300 million shillings is expected to come from a fundraising dinner that is to be held on May 2nd at a Protea Hotel in Kololo from 7 p.m. and will be graced by a right honorable Prime Minister Robin Anabanja, the walk of faith from Munyonyo to Old Kampala Parish that will be held on Monday, on May rather, 25th and a mass for all Christians from Fort Porto living in Kampala and neighboring districts on May 1st at Kitsante Primary School among other pre events. He called on those planning for this year's Namugongo Matters Day to come for prayers, not any other business, and also put respect to the environment by avoiding littering plastics all over the place.
There will be a special novena prayer starting from the 25th of May going up to the 2nd of June when we're actually coming to the celebration itself. So we're urging people to use this prayer as a novena to prepare well for the 3rd of June. Additionally, uh, we shall have a walk of faith that is from Munyonyo to Namugongo and uh, it's supposed to help us to kind of have a feel of what the martyrs went through, especially walking, although there may be some food problems. The climax of which will be the celebration of Mass on the 3rd of June at Namugongo. We have a budget of uh, 1 billion, which we're working with, and uh, we are blessed to meet the president, the head of this country, on the 20th of this month at his country home in Raktuba, and he offered us a pledge of 1 billion, uh, not only for Namgongo, but also for the renovation of the Cathedral of Virika, the Cathedral of Porto. This year's theme is baptized and sent to witness Jesus Christ with love and hope, uh, which is uh, reflected in the way the martyrs died. Uh, they were men of faith baptized with water, but some were not yet baptized. Financial contributions are requested to be deposited into the diocese's bank account with Centenary Bank, Fort Porto Branch, account name Fort Porto Diocese, 2022 Uganda Matter Celebrations, account number two, uh, rather 320328. Eight, while those with mobile money, the two lines, Airtel Money, number 0753-503-354 and mobile money for MTN, 0771-96-3204. Both lines in the names of Robert K. Mahira can be used. Fort Porto Diocese last animated the Uganda Matters Day celebrations at the Catholic Shrine in Namugongo in 1997 when the place used to accommodate accommodate only 300 people, but now it is an event of millions of people. The government has been faulted for committing Uganda's uh, copy without doing any feasibility study. Members of Parliament on the Committee of Trade, Industry and Tourism that is investigating the coffee agreement between government and the Uganda Vinci Coffee Company were shocked to learn that government entered into this agreement without seeing any feasibility study about this company, something that was confirmed by Charles Biarugaba, technical officer from the Minister of Finance. In reply, Minister for Finance, Mithya Kasaja said that government was more interested in having a company to add value to Ugandan coffee than the feasibility study. Now that you, you have never seen the feasibility study and you are the technical officer, what informed you to give them these incentives? We give incentives not because we have seen the feasibility study. We, we, put, we give incentives to attract you to go into the sector because we need you in that sector. The act, uh, this act, uh, the members of parliament on the committee and Ginger North Division MP David Isabirie uh, told minister to retire, which caused an exchange of words between the minister and the members of parliament. Meanwhile, the attorney general, Kirio Wakiwanuka, has disputed public and parliamentary allegations by MPs that the recently signed coffee agreement is aimed at creating monopoly in the coffee sector. Appearing before the threat committee chaired by Muin M. Parker, Kiwanuka said that the agreement does not stop any player in the sector from engaging in the business and that it only aims at value addition until Uganda's coffee as par the law. A police have cordoned off the Supreme Court building in the Kampala upscale suburb of Kololo to investigate the fire that gutted the Chief Justice's chambers on Wednesday morning. The fire broke out in the Chief Justice's off chambers on the third floor, destroying several documents. Officers from the Fire and Rescue Services Department, backed by fire trucks, managed to contain the fire and stop it from spreading to other parts of the highest court in the country. Shortly after containing the fire, a team of regular police officers cordoned off the Supreme Court building around midday with yellow tapes as a crime scene. Jameson Karemani, judiciary spokesperson, told Radio Sapienza that the few people he has talked to believe the fire started from the air conditioning system as he called for calm from the public saying no court file was affected by the fire since all files are kept in the registry.
but uh, the, the few documents which are in the office on the table and the like could have been affected. But lucky enough, most of the files are not are not kept in his chambers, so there is no big alarm about.